Good morning, Mark Twain. This is MTTV. I'm Andres. And I'm Tanner. Today is Thursday, October 11th, 2012. We'll now observe the moment of silence and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Attention 8th graders, the clock is ticking. You have two major projects due soon. Your English project is due on Monday, October 22nd. Do you need help putting it together today during the first block of the after school program? You can get assistance in room 168. Just sign up at lunch. Also, your service learning projects are due October 25th or 26th. Don't forget, you need your five hours and a three-paragraph reflection completed. See your civics teacher if there, there's things you need help with. As a reminder to any students applying to TJ, the application is due by Monday, October 50th. Remember, it's online applications that requires your network login. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Milton and Student Services. Attention fellow news crew members. Tomorrow is our big field trip. Don't forget to dress professionally and meet up with Mr. N Nisley and Mr. Schechter in the lobby just outside the cafeteria after second period. Take only a jacket with you and leave your lunch in your locker. Hey Patriots, it's time to design our t-shirt. Our usual shirt design contest is now underway. Image our whole team wearing your inspired design all year long. The winning design gets a free t-shirt. See Mr. Schechter in room 148 for any intern form. The deadline for interns had been extended to Friday, October 90th, so get yours in today. Tomorrow night, why don't you choose what your family has for dinner? It's time for a Domino's Dough Raising Night. Domino's will donate money to Twain based on how much pizza we order. Proof of purchase forms will be passed out at lunch on Friday. Let's make some dough for our school and order a delicious Domino's pizza this Friday night. Anyone interested in being a Nerd Herd member must have their applications in to see Mrs. Orocho in room 120th by today. There will not be after school meeting today. See Mrs. Orocho with any questions. Speaking of technology, anyone interested in registering their device needs to pick up the registration form from the main office, fill it out, and see Mrs. Orocho during Friday ELT only. Friday ELT will be the only time during the, the week that you can register your personal devices. If that is not possible for you, see Ms. Orocho in room 112 to make any other arrangements. Tonight at 7 p.m. in the cafeteria, join the PTA at a dessert social to bid Mrs. Holub a fond farewell. We're all going to miss you. Congratulations to the twain... Twi Twister Tigers Special Olympic Soccer Team. They won first pl place in their division this past Saturday, October 6th in Ashburn. 
team members included Michael Villata, Julie Vo, Rosie Moreno, Alvaro Rojas, Kevin Polio, and Andres Lavila. Thanks again to the cheering squad of Juan Villata, Miss Wehara, and Miss Gray. They qualified for the fall championships in Virginia Beach this November. Congratulations! Here, here's today's lunch menu. Spaghetti with meat sauce and breadstick. Baked chicken filet on bun. Hummus biteable. Vegetables and fruit. Steamed green beans, broccoli with cauliflower florets, tossed salad, chilled parrots with cherry garnish, or fresh apple slices. That's it for us here in the studio. I'm Andres. And I'm Tanner. Stay tuned for news you can use from your administration after these messages. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Twain. Twain. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Well, happy Thursday. First of all, staff, all buses are here, and all buses were on time, which means all students should have been on time. All right, well, certainly want to do a shout-out for yesterday's cafeteria fundraiser kickoff. Really, really excited to see the proceeds and the profits for Mark Twain Middle School based on this fundraiser. Folks, if you have any questions about the fundraiser, please make sure you see Mr. Kelso uh, during lunches. Any lunch, you're welcome to go ask him any questions that you may have. Also, shout out for all the families who came last night to our ESOL Parent Night. Really, really excited that we got to educate parents about our amazing ESOL program. All right, students. Well, as you continue your journey here at Mark Twain Middle School, want to remind you about finding a go-to adult. Now that you've been here about six weeks, it's time for you to identify if you have a problem, if you have a concern, which adult in this building do you feel closest with that you know that you'd go to them to kind of bounce some ideas off them, seek some support? It's my recommendation that you actually tell that staff member and ask them if they'd be your go-to adult. Set it up now so that as the school year goes on, you, when you need them, can go to them and, and ask them some questions, ask them for some help. It's really important that you connect with at least one staff member here at Mark Twain Middle School. If you're not sure who that is, talk to your teachers about it. Talk to your counselors. Maybe they can give you some suggestions of a staff member who could be your go-to adult uh, for when you may have a time of need. Well, folks, also want to do a thank you to all the students who participated yesterday afternoon um, in our musical performances. Thank you so much for all that. I really appreciate it. Staff, as a reminder, I'll see you in one of four sessions this afternoon uh, today in the lecture hall. Check the email for the start times. That's all for me for today, everyone. Happy Thursday.